Trampoline, which is now a hurricane. Category one hurricane, the 11 a.m. advisory just came in. 80 mile an hour winds, it has picked up a lot of intensity, is now about 500 miles to the southwest of Tampa and starting to enter the Gulf of Mexico. Pressure has dropped significantly. It's also picked up a little speed, moving to the north northwest at 10 miles an hour. Still by tonight, 100 mile an hour winds expected with a very fast intensification. Actual rapid intensification happens after that in these hot waters of the Gulf of Mexico. We are talking a major hurricane category three by tomorrow morning now, so it'll have more time to intensify before it actually makes a run at landfall right between Tallahassee, Apalachicola, the Big Bend area of Florida. And then after that, the southeast states of Georgia and South Carolina are going to have to be aware that they're going to see some flooding rains and tropical storm force conditions as well. We we are under a tropical storm warning for the entirety of South Florida. So that means that for the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast, especially tonight, overnight through the first half of tomorrow, we're going to see tropical storm force winds. Those are winds 40 to up to 50 miles an hour with the gust, as well as isolated tornado potential and those rain bands that are just so intense and really pushing sideways with those embedded winds with them. We'll see the potential for some flooding as well. We have a marginal risk of severe weather today as well as a flood watch that's up. The squalls will begin more intensely this afternoon and then we'll see the peak wind gusts really overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. Isolated tornado risk will continue as well. We'll continue to keep you posted and have another update for you at 11:30. Trust WPPF 25 first warning weather, number one in severe weather coverage. This breaking update is a service of these sponsors.